Hey, today uh, I'm going to be starting a new project. Uh, it's taking this mess of a desk and turning it into this. This desk is a complete mess. Um, I actually have been doing all of my video editing off of this Asus laptop, and I recently, on a Cyber Monday deal, got a new desktop, and so I'm gonna go through all of this and try and reorganize. Got a desktop, got a monitor. Gonna reorganize, make it look better, hopefully. This right here is the laptop that I've done all of my video editing on up to this point, um, well, and that desktop, but this is my main editing setup is just this simple laptop here and it's time to upgrade I found a new computer on a Cyber Monday deal I got a new monitor on a good deal and we're gonna try and reorganize all of this mess <laughs> so I decided to bring you along for the ride let's see how it goes so where we're gonna start here is this desktop um, this desk, it doesn't quite go to the wall, and it doesn't actually, if you look here, it doesn't go all the way to the wall here, um, partially because, like, the legs stick out too far. Um, so, I actually am going to replace this with something that fills this space here. Boom! Here we go. This is our new desktop. Um, this started out life as a, uh, 4x8 sheet of plywood. I found on the local classifieds for $15. So I went out there and I was like, hey, do you mind if I cut this down before we throw it in my car? And I cut her down to the dimensions that I needed. And, uh, but the edges are a little sharp, they're a little crummy. So I'm actually gonna take this outside onto the workbench out there and do some quick routering on that to remove the sharp edge. I'm gonna put just a, I think it's an eighth round is what I have, maybe a quarter inch round over on it so that it's a little bit smoother. And then I might throw some um, seal on it. Uh, this is not plywood, I said plywood, I meant MDF. So let's go ahead and knock that out and then this is gonna replace our desktop. We're gonna use the same legs, they seem pretty sturdy. And this is uh, pretty light stuff. One thing that I do wanna mention before I start, I'm starting on the bottom because this is the side that people will see less, but also um, one thing I learned with a router is the direction of spin almost always is clockwise. And you wanna go the opposite of that. I was like, always, oh, like, which way do I go to get like the best routing? And somebody once said, your right hand, you wanna go that way, the way it's pointing from your thumb to your finger. So just to the right, the opposite of counterclockwise. So if it's close to you, you wanna go from left to right. If you're on the other side of the part, you wanna go from right to left. But um, yeah, there's been a few ways it's been explained, but just something that I learned this week. There's other better videos out there to explain it, but that's just the basics to help you if you have a quick question. Um, leave them in the comments below if you have more questions, but let's go ahead and just router this out. Bottom sign turned out great. Let's flip it over and do the top. Just got a couple of clamps because this is starting to slide around on me. The sawdust underneath there is working like a lubricant between the tabletop and the, uh, what's it called? The spacer piece I'm using here. So, Grab this guy and clamp it down. I've already routered this part, so that's all right to go ahead and clamp it here. I won't have to move those later on. I'm just gonna finish this up with some uh, 220 uh, sandpaper just to clean up the edges, round off the sharp corners here, and uh, maybe get any spots that I might miss that's uneven. Um, I did cut this with a circular saw, so lines might do a little bit of that. I might just try and clean up that a little bit so it's a little less noticeable.
So at the end there, you saw that I uh, pulled up my orbital sander because this edge was a little bit rougher than I uh, anticipated. So I just used that to help smooth this out. Um, but the final product here feels so smooth, I don't even know, I, not that I don't know. I know <laughs> I'm not gonna actually put a uh, sealer. I was gonna put some like uh, wood sealer on here. Um, and uh, I don't think it needs it. It's got this uh, veneer laminate top that's a dark wood look, and then obviously this is MDF. I'm not too worried about the look. The top is a pretty cool look on its own. Uh, I'm just gonna wipe it down with a wet cloth to get this dust out of it, and then we're gonna go ahead and take it in and install it. All right, time to clear all this out. I start drilling the holes, I put some tape on there so I know how far to drill. Um, super useful little tip is to put some tape on the tip of your drill bit so you don't drill too far. It doesn't stop you, but it shows you physically, visually, where to stop. Don't want to drill all the way through this thing. Now those legs are going to be over there and I wanted the legs here I wanted to just be able to flip it up here but now I need to shift it that way and so the old tabletop had um, screw guides if you would say I don't know uh, that you would go into that would protect the wood from being torn out well this doesn't have that so I have to be very careful when drilling and screwing but I just realized I put holes in the wrong spots so Gotta undo everything and try again. Quick tip time. Um, so, my drill bit, this is just the cheap Black & Decker one that I got out of a, like a tool kit. And this, this guy right here, is a magnetizer. What you'll do is you put your drill bit in the hole, spin it, and now this bit is magnetized. You can do it with any bit, and it becomes super duper useful having one of these. You can magnetize anything, a screwdriver, anything hand screwdriver. I'm serious, this thing is amazing. Get one. There it is. And uh, sure enough, my measurements are still off. I don't know how. I'm a little annoyed. Actually, I do. I didn't account for that little baseboard trim that pushed this board away. I was doing it physically off of the wall. Ugh. Grant. Um, I don't want to leave it. I don't want to. We're going to make it right. We're going to figure it out. Ah, I'll 
I'll be back. They say measure twice, cut once. In my case, measure once, cut thrice. Hopefully. Please work. Please, sir. I just want you to work. Oh, that's in the wrong spot. Uh-oh. I'm really hoping I didn't do this all wrong, wrong, wrong. Huh? Measure, I don't know, once four times and get it right the fourth time? It's, it, it's here, okay? And you'll never see the bottom anyway. It's on there and it actually holds pretty solid. Um, next is I got a power strip that I'm gonna try and tape down over there so it kind of helps keep things organized when things don't move. So. Got some of my favorite duct tape, University of Utah, and uh, gonna tape it down and start bringing things back. and things are gonna be changing out. I'm not sure I will, how I wanna balance it. And I wanna keep the area underneath the desk clear uh, before it had like boxes and an old desktop. And I wanna kinda get rid of those things. But I don't know what to do with those things. What to you may have been moments has been a whole nother day. Welcome to day two of the table desktop. So the desktop table itself is done. However, this is a whole big project and we are starting into the next section, which I didn't think was gonna happen until next week. I ordered a new computer and that's why I decided to finally pull the trigger and get this whole desk revamped. I've been meaning to do the revamp on my desk for a while, but it was because I ordered a new computer. Let's take a look at this. Boom. A legion from Lenovo. This is a uh, computer that I found on a nice Black Friday sale. I'm gonna grab a knife over here and we're gonna unbox this thing together. I am so excited right now. Excited, you guys. So, so, so excited. <sighs> Lots of foam. Lots of foam. A little box over here. I'm assuming this is just going to be our power cord. Yep, power cord. Ooh! And a mouse. Comes with a mouse. Corded, USB. Instructions, you know, if you feel like doing some light reading. Oh, on the other side comes with a keyboard. Let's see what kind of keyboard you got here. Um, pretty, pretty standard keyboard here. Um, definitely not like one of those. It's definitely not a uh, RGB or. What do they call it? The the switched keyboard. This is 
more of a button one. Nice keyboard though, really nice. I'm definitely gonna be using this guy. Nice and clean. I wish it was wireless though. Um, I definitely enjoy having my wireless mouse that I use with my laptop right now, but um, I understand that like for gamers, which this computer is geared towards gamers, a wired mouse and keyboard is a faster option. Uh, I'm just doing video editing, so I don't need that super low latency. But let's get to the part that you came here for. Possibly. I don't know. <laughs> the Lenovo <sighs> T5. She's got a lot of plastic on her. Let's see. Is she open or do I gotta rip it? Here's our opening here. Over here. Security seal. Looking at the back side here, we got the two display ports, three display ports, and an HDMI. Wow. This thing is ready for business. And the handle to grab onto in the back. Ooh, and an open side. I didn't even know. I guess I didn't look close enough to the pictures. Let's see, I'm assuming it's going to have the peel plastic here. No? It looks like it does. Yeah, it does. There it is. Ooh, that was nice. Nice. We got the GeForce 2060 here, and um, a um, standard one terabyte hard drive, and then it also has a, a RAM over here. I don't remember all of our specs here on this guy. Let me pull it up here on my laptop. So it has a 256 gigabyte SSD, the RTX 2060, not the Super, um, but it is a 2060, as well as comes with Windows 10 Home, 16 gigs of DDR4, and the Core i7 10th Gen, the 1070, 10700F. The i7 10700F. Um, yeah, this is the front side of our machine here. Not bad looking, right? The most frustrating part is, <laughs> the very most frustrating part is, I ordered a monitor for it, but it doesn't come until next week. So we're just gonna kinda set this up in place, kinda work on our organization here. Um, I, uh, I went to Walmart yesterday and I actually purchased this guy here. This is a $10, $11 stack of drawers where I can put power cables, my uh, recording equipment, so I have like uh, music or audio recording stuff that I don't use very often. Put that in here and then other random junk in the bottom drawer, of course. Uh, but that will help to clean up that mess over there, hopefully. And uh, I'll just tuck this guy down under here um, where I have my old an ottoman or something. I don't know, I used it as a shelf <laughs> on top of my old desk. So this is the old shelf and I got my old desktop in there and some boxes, so I'm gonna be able to clear out most of that. Space heater will stay over here just because this side of the house gets cold sometimes. But um, yeah, let's start some organization and setup. I'm super excited, you guys. I'm super, super, super excited.
progress, cleared all that out. Now we're moving up here. What I'm trying to figure out is how I wanna like organize everything over here. I know it's a little dark, but work with me here. Like, I don't know where to put everything. So I got power strips and things, and then I got this guy, and then I have all of these hard drives that I use to store backups of YouTube videos and everything else. I know I'm a digital hoarder, but um, I'm thinking I'd probably end up just stacking them on top of the computer itself here. Um, it may not look as awesome as I want. I almost want to like build a shelf down here and then put these on that shelf back there like so that it's just the USB hanging out and they're always connected. I think, I don't know. Oh, what do I want to do here? Actually, that's not bad. So we got Oscar and Ocho. Fat Bob, and then these are my two that I started with, Big Bertha and Slow Bob. Um, these guys can just kind of hang that way, I think, because these are just portable ones. They'll just hang out here or maybe even down here in this drawer here. I'd also like to do some cable management, but I don't know how I want to approach that because there is a whole lot of dangling cable here. Maybe I'll have to go online, watch some YouTube videos on cable management. Another issue I'm running into right now is that um, I don't have a monitor for this desktop. I do have this TV. This is what I usually use to watch YouTube videos and stuff. Um, and I only have this HDMI cable and it it's not very long. So if the computer is where I eventually want it, which is going to be over here, yeah, this little cable isn't going to work. So I'm just so eager to plug it in and play with it that um, I might just leave this right here for now so that this HDMI cable can reach. Oh, man, this still doesn't even reach it. Are you kidding me? Okay, got an HDMI cable. All right. All right, so I don't have a... Um, I don't have a display yet, but this is my TV that's mounted on the wall in my room here. Um, I usually just use it to watch YouTube videos, but I'm, I have an HDMI connected to my computer. I'm just so eager. I'm not even going to finish cleaning up all of this stuff before I plug it in because I'm just so excited. So we're going to get it all plugged in. All right, moment of truth. <laughs> Get started up. Hi there, I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. So I was about to start by apologizing because I haven't actually, um, I, it's been a minute, but then I realized it hasn't been a minute for you because it wasn't recording this part, but I installed the computer and installed software and I'm still installing some like Adobe and things like that. But before I got into that, I started running some benchmarks and holy crap, check this out. So these are the benchmarks between my old computer, my laptop that I use for video editing, this guy right here, this Asus, um, versus this new desktop. I spent a thousand dollars on this laptop initially and then I put another thousand dollars of upgrades into it. This desktop was twelve hundred dollars shipped taxes everything. Twelve hundred right now look at these stats like holy crap. Uh, <laughs> total overall score seven thousand four hundred and nine for our desktop versus my laptop got five hundred and fifty one Oh, it's so bad. Um, we were both running an i7, but this one's a Gen 10, while this was a Gen 6, I think, Gen 3. Um, we got our 3D Mark score 7,409 uh, versus 551. Um, if we jump down to our gra like our CPU score is just insane difference here, but then look at our graphics test. Our first one, we got 45 frames per second on the first one while I only got 3.15 frames per second on my laptop and then the other one is 40 frames per second versus 2.8 <laughs> frames per second 
<laughs> I am so excited to test this thing out, start doing some video editing, like see how fast everything just renders and like clears out. I'm, I'm hoping it becomes a much more efficient setup. Also, uh, while you were not waiting, but waiting uh, between our last frames, this guy showed up courtesy of Amazon. Um, I ordered it after my monitor, but uh, you know, every once in a while things are closer. And so this had, had free next day shipping on it. This is the arm for my laptop, or my new desktop, the arm for my uh, monitor. We got the uh, Ur gear. Um, yeah, so got some cable management bits. Let me go ahead and start figuring out where I want to put this big old boy here. Got our clamp here. Wow, that is hefty. That is weighty right here. That's going to be good. Man. And it's nice and low profile here so that it doesn't like, I don't have to pull the desk way away from the wall. It actually might work right where it is because there is just a little bit of gap back there right now. Got the arm for it. I'll go to my display. Got some Velcro for cable management. This thing is spring loaded. Interesting. Go. Ready to go. Right oh, all right. And a bag full of screws. There's instructions, but I have a feeling I might be able to figure this one out. Well then, as I was starting um, to screw down the clamp on this guy, uh, I noticed uh, an immediate issue. Uh, this countertop here is uh, three quarters of an inch and that is just a little bit too small for this guy. It's not going to get a good bite. So I'm actually going to go grab another piece of this probably, cut it down to be just maybe a little block that I can then screw onto the bottom here to use as a plate that'll disperse that pressure but also make that clamp block able to grab on better. Well, since I already got this clamp here, I'll use it as a clamp to hold this up while I'm uh, attaching it. Yes, it's a different color. This is just some uh, board from another project. I pre-drilled some holes in this uh, lower board. clamp is probably right where I need it. Let's find out. Well, it's a good thing they got these here instructions because uh, I got a little ahead of myself. Um, apparently you're supposed to take the clamp apart first. All right. Now we're good. Now we're cooking with gas. So it said we needed to remove that part off, but I was able to get in there with this little Allen wrench they provided. There it is. Little Allen wrench that they provided. Just fine. So, so you're just screwing in the three screws here on that top edge. It's got this little trim cover piece to that. All right. So this piece and this are if you want to go through a hole in the desk as opposed to going around the desk for clamping um, and it also uses a wing nut so those are some parts that I will not be using on this setup here but it's cool that it gives you the versatility there next is our arm it just, says it just slides right down let's uh, do ourselves a favor loosen you up just a bit Just like that. I don't know how high or low I'm gonna want this display, so I'm just gonna leave this at the highest, and then we can 
lowered if we need to once my display comes in. But my display hasn't come in yet. And lastly, we got some cable management that's gonna go on the uh, underside of the arm here. So go ahead and screw that on real quick. Let's see if we can give you a good view while I'm doing this. Go here, get that started. All right. can pull this ledge down to run cords through. So we got like an HDMI cable here and that just tucks in like that and we'll then come over here like this. And it looks like there should be another, but unfortunately they don't have a second one. You just have to kind of send it down to this guy here. Also, this guy has um, some holes and I was like, you know what? These little Allens are gonna be useful one day when I move. So I'm gonna store them right there. This little one, so it's screwed in the base here as well as the one on the back here. And this big one here adjusts our spring load here for the display to tilt forward and back. And then if you push this down all the way, you now have access to this little screw here where you can adjust your spring load. And that's what that big one is for. And so I just used those two things. I'm sure they were meant for something else. And then it also has some cable management here so you can run it here and then like that. And you know, once something's set up, it doesn't move around a whole lot, but that seems to keep pretty well. Nice. Yeah. You now running up to the display that will be here one day. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this segment right here. We'll come back to this once uh, our display comes in. All right, everyone, Christmas came even earlier again. So my computer came earlier, my arm here came earlier, and now we have our monitor. This is the LG 32 inch 4K monitor that I got. Um, let's go ahead and start unboxing it. I'm so excited. Making you nervous? I stab my monitor. <laughs> All right, so we've got our metal stand, and I'm not gonna be using that because it's gonna be mounted on this uh, arm over here. We'll take a look at the stand. Let's see, where's our opening? The stand. And oh, it's metal. I'm impressed. So this is our metal stand. Um, looks like there's a Phillips or flathead screw, or it's even got a little flip-up thing you can use to manually turn it on or in. Next, we have the arm that would go from that stand to the monitor itself, um, which again we're not going to be using because we're going to be using that mount. But there it is. Then it comes with a bunch of cables. We got our power cable here. We have a display cable, beautiful. An HDMI cable, a power adapter brick, another, and then some cable keepers, and a CD. It's not even in a sleeve. Really? There's, there's just a loose CD in here. No sleeve, nothing. Like, there's not even a sleeve in here for it to go to. I get it, like, nobody uses them, but, like, this thing has been... I don't know if you can see the detail in that. It has been ruined. There's, like, chips and scratches in it. What are you doing, LG? <laughs> I'm not gonna use it anyway, but, yeah. This kinda makes me a little uncomfortable that they do that. Take the top off here. And from here, I can see the back of the monitor here. It's in a big sleeve. Right. Oh, 
I want to take this guy out. So right here to the side, there's a slot on either side of the monitor, so you can lift it out. Are we ready? Here we go. Much lighter than I thought. Wow. Let's get this box out of the way. Let the sleeve off. Boom. There we go. Wow, this is wider than I expected. I like it. So this should be able to go on here, but in what way, I don't know. Kinda wish that I had a way to just take off the head here, attach it there so I knew what I was doing and then I could attach it here and come back, but I guess we might have to take the whole arm off. I don't see it right. you can see what's going on here this is just slightly too big um, that literally just barely doesn't fit in there if these were rounded like this is it probably would fit but they're not so I'm debating whether I want to round those off so it'll fit in or I could um, use the spacers that came with this so I'm gonna try the spacers first so I don't have to modify anything so this came with a bunch of screws and spacers, this arm did here. Let's go ahead and go through these. It only came with the one set of spacers, so hopefully that pushes it out enough. Like everything lines up really well. When you're screwing things like this in, be careful not to screw it in too tight because uh, you could strip the threads or screw literally into a circuit board or something like that. Um, granted, there's like, obviously you have to get in tight enough to get the job done. I think we got it. I think those spacers are just high enough that it's holding it. We shall see. I think I just did this the hard way, but now I'm gonna put this guy onto the body there. So let's go ahead and back out and we'll take a look at that. This might be better if you had help. But it goes on pretty well. Get that screwed down. tell already this is um, it's what's the word too light the monitor is too light so we need to adjust the tension screws and so we've got this big Allen wrench for that it says you gotta push this all the way down there into I'm go to the left to loosen it up here to it but now swing this over here bring it down and it's a little skewampus so it looks like oh something oh it rotates so if I <laughs> I didn't even know the whole thing rotates check that out Wow, that's wild. 
but there's my monitor. Holy cow, I'm excited. Next, we're gonna be running the display cable here. Plug that in, got a nice positive click to that. Reaches my desktop over here. All right, so now we're gonna start running the power cable here, and I must say, I'm not the biggest fan of the white. I prefer a black cable. It'll blend in. I kind of got a black aesthetic going on here, but you know, they can run their party. It is LG. You don't pick out stuff because of the color of the cable, right? You want the quality of the equipment. <laughs> I have to say, I really love that. Like, I can just be like, oh, hey, I need to get to something on the back of the monitor here. Let's just swing it out real quick. Boom. On our core here and the keepers. I could not be more happy with my setup here. Um, we got my new desktop right there. We got the monitor. I ended up taking the mount and moving it just a few inches that way. It gives us a little bit more slack on our display cable, but also it kind of positions it in a spot that felt more natural for me, um, where I want to have the height and things like that. If I go all the way to it's like, I don't know, parallel, so it's going to be furthest out, Having it just a couple inches inside of the edge here um, kind of just feels better because before it was all the way to there. So just moved it a little bit that way and uh, I think it looks so good. Um, I might carry it just a little bit higher about here um, just to keep me with my head up as opposed to like hunching over and then doing one of these. It, it's not good for your posture and whatnot. So this definitely will help having my monitor higher up on the on here so it forces me to keep my head up, things like that. But this is my new setup. Um, I've thrown a couple of cool backgrounds on there, but that's it. Um, I'm gonna do some time putting in on here, trying out video editing, hopefully pushing, I'm definitely not gonna be pushing the limits of this guy, but we're gonna be doing some work on here and uh, changing up the workflow. Hopefully it flows better, more pleasurable experience. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have questions, uh, suggestions. I'm gonna try and link all of the tools and things that I use here. If there's something that I used here, um, parts and things that I used here that you don't know what it is, you don't see it in the links down below, let me know and I will add that and let you know. Um, just leave it in the comment below and we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.